Not sure if many of you know, but we do have a virtual tier within the Design Coven virtual pro member tier, which includes three virtual meetings a month where we set intentions. We do group coaching. So bring all your questions. We answer those questions and you get to learn from other people going through the same struggles as you. We also do a business practice meeting. So we'll have somebody on to share a business practice that we can all benefit from. And then we also do a product training. So getting a sustainable, eco-friendly line to come on and share who they are so that we can be supported with other like-minded businesses. And if you're not quite ready for pro, you can always join our free community where you will connect with other like-minded holistic interior designers. You don't have to be an interior designer if you are kind of just dabbling or you're aspiring or you're looking into this field. We invite everybody from all journeys and you don't, again, have to be a designer. You don't have to have a degree. We're just a beautiful community of like-minded people looking to create healing spaces, not just for ourselves, but for our clients and future clients. Come join us at designcoven.com forward slash join. You're listening to the Holistic Interior Design Podcast. This is a podcast that guides you as a new or inspiring independent interior designer navigating your entrepreneurial path. Here with my over 20 years experience, I will share my holistic approach to design with intention and ancient practices, including feng shui, all incorporating mind, body, and spirit into my design projects. You will also learn from seasoned interior designers as they give strategies and insight of how they built their businesses and continue to work in the field. Together, we will discover supportive trade partners, new ideas, creatives, and inspiring artists from around the world. I am your host, Rachel Lorraine Crawford. Hello, welcome back to episode 154 of the Holistic Interior Design podcast. I'm super excited to be here today. I am going to talk all about the reasons I created a brand new podcast, which is the Holistic Hospitality design podcast. And before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and set our space by lighting our candle today. Connecting with that beautiful fire energy. We are about to enter Aries season. So closing out Pisces season, closing out the end of the Zodiac year and about to welcome in a new year. So lit our candle here and I'm going to pull a card. I'm pulling from the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Just to kind of see what energy we're working with at the moment. Uh, what do we need to know? And we've got the Seven of Cups here. Seven of Cups is all about uh, opportunities, things that are coming our way. So knowing that there's plenty of doors that are about to be opened, maybe some are closing at the time. Um, but there are some beautiful things on the horizon. The one thing to keep an eye out uh, with this card is to really dig deep into what those opportunities mean. So dig a little deeper. Don't just go for the shiny new thing. See truly what does it mean for you. Uh, this could be a project that you're bringing in. Uh, really taking a look at what energy um, you're going to be working with, the people that you're working with. You know all of those things before saying yes so dig a little deeper but know that there are opportunities and if something isn't quite right there is something right behind it so don't be afraid to say no in order to say yes to something else Alrighty, so i wanted to create this episode to just get everybody in the loop let everyone know what i'm doing with my business and hopefully this will inspire you to do some things with your own personal design business. I know at the beginning of the year, I really wanted to set the intention of launching two episodes a week. And lately I just have not been able to do that for whatever reason, I'm procrastinating. I'm holding, there's a block somewhere that I'm just not feeling into it. Uh, I was gonna launch Tuesdays and Thursdays and it's been hard for me just to launch Tuesday episodes. Some of those have been airing on Thursday. so. I'm working through some of that. Uh, my dad had passed away in the beginning of February. That kind of threw me off um, a little bit, threw me for a loop. And so I'm kind of just readjusting things, reassessing everything, 
Re-evaluating this year, we are coming to a close of the first quarter, about to enter quarter two. So this is a really good time for all of you to also kind of just assess where you're at, figure out if you're still on the same track, if you're still in alignment with your intentions that you set at the beginning of the year, or if you need to realign. And that's what I'm doing. I am realigning, reconfiguring, uh, really tapping into where I want to work in my business and how I want my business to lay out the rest of the year. Uh, many of you know that I recently ended one of the projects to end it, it. We launched it. It's up and running. Everything's good. So I was designing Viva Wax Cider Works. We had the owner Laura on with us a few months back and she opened. So that project has come to a close. We opened on March 1st, so it's up and running. Coffee shop is going, the store is going, the tasting room, all the things. And I will definitely be keeping you in the loop here in the future on how that's going for her and her business, which leads me into why I created a new podcast. So coming out of that, I realized I really, really love hospitality design. I love working with people that are in the wellness industry that are holding space for other people in the community. And I want to work more with those people. I want more of those clients. So that's reason number one, why I created this new podcast, the holistic hospitality design podcast, because I want to talk to my ideal client. So I wanted to go more into this hospitality realm. That includes wellness hotels. I want to do retreat centers. I want to do restaurants and bars and yoga studios and wellness centers, like all the spaces that really support people with their health, their wellness, creating elevated experiences. I want more of those clients. So I thought what better way to infuse myself into that space than to actually create a podcast that is for my ideal client. So. Number two is I want my ideal client to know me. I want them to like me. I want them to trust me. So by having this new podcast, this is giving them an opportunity to come into my world, see how I work, what projects I'm interested in, give them some examples of case studies and what it's like to, to work with me. So I definitely wanted to connect with my potential client in that way. Number three, I want to learn more about the hospitality industry. I feel like I just scratched the tip of the iceberg. I want to dive in deeper. So by having this podcast, this is going to give me more opportunities to be in front, to connect with people that are in the hospitality world so that I can learn through their experiences, good and bad. It's going to give me an outlet to be able to connect with people that I might not have otherwise been able to connect with in this industry. So I definitely am just diving in. I want to learn more. I want to know more. I want to know about the operations of it. I want to know what makes my clients tech. I, I just want all the things. So by having the podcast, that's going to give me a platform to be able to learn more and gain more knowledge in this realm. And then number four, I really want to be of service. I want to be of service to my ideal client. I want to share ideas with them. I want to share my design philosophy of being a holistic interior designer. What does that mean? Why they would want a holistic interior designer? with their company that's all about wellness and well-being and offering services to the community. So that was number four is just being of service. And number five is, uh, I spoke a little bit about this at the very beginning, which is focusing my niche. I really want to do more wellness in the hospitality realm. So I want to talk about it. I want to be there. I want to share it. I want to be part of the community in that space. Number six, in order for me to get more clients to show up to be credible, I need to show that I have authority. So number six is showing that I have authority in this space, in this realm, that they can trust me, that I know what I'm talking about, that I'm in it to learn, I'm on the cutting edge, I'm constantly just elevating my skill set, elevating my knowledge. So really just being at the forefront so that when somebody is opening something, you know, like a wellness space or a boutique hotel that supports people in their wellness and health journey. They think of me as the person to go to because I talk about it. I'm in that space and I'm a leader in there. So that's number six. Number seven is just the long form content that having a podcast offers. So 
these short little videos, short little reels are fantastic and great, but you can only get so much out of that. And long form content has a long lasting effect. It's evergreen. It will forever be on the podcast outlets, platforms. It'll forever be on YouTube. The podcast is going to be video as well, just like this one. So it's just going to live in the ethers forever, which is fantastic. And it's going to be a way for people to find me years from now. And then the last reason is just the recyclability of content. So it's connected to that number seven with being able to recycle content to share more things from one episode. And it's just going to give it has so many different lives within that. So I just wanted to kind of keep you all in the loop on what I'm doing. I'm sure and I'm hoping that this will inspire you to create something for your ideal client that you can offer, give back to your community, show authority, and also just for knowledge, like really diving in. I don't know everything there is to know about holistic hospitality design, but I want to be a leader in that space and I want to learn more. So by creating this podcast, by showing up, I feel like I'm going to be opening opportunities and doorways, which reminds me of our card today, which is a seven of cups, doorways, opportunities, which is really beautiful. It kind of came to me of what I'm creating because you can create opportunities at any moment, but be intentional about it. Be really connected with your why on, on why you want to do those things, how you're going to show up and who you want to be connected with. Um, that's it for today. Like I said, I hope this inspired you. I would love to know what you're doing, how you're niching down, how you're showing up for that niche and for that community, for that ideal client, because there's so many different ways that we can show up and be in service. So love to know what your strategy is. Um, right now, I am definitely riding the podcast wave and see where it takes me. Until next time, happy designing, and we'll see you next week. You've been listening to the Holistic Interior Design Podcast. If it's one that you have been enjoying, please share with anyone else that you think can benefit from this knowledge and leave us a five-star review that helps us get seen and found by other new and aspiring interior designers. And if you're looking for mentorship, I invite you to join our club here at the Design Coven. It's a bridge between school and real life interior design. We get in much deeper there. We have virtual and in-person events. So everyone is welcome. You don't need to have a design degree to be part of it. Just an interest in holistic interior design. I also want to thank our editor, Marcy Ferry. And lastly, Kinseth Thibodeau, who is our music composer. Until next time, be well, and we will see each other soon.